Cool. Uh, hey guys, uh, my name is Ignacio. I'm from Argentina. Uh, I'm a front end engineer at Nestoria. You guys probably know them. Uh, my talk is called Web Components, the Future of the Web. Uh, I know it's a pretty pulsy statement, uh, and it was quite hard to summarize the, the future of the web in a five minute talk, so bear with me. Um, there are some code ahead on some demos. Uh, you can guys check them later uh, on the slides. Uh, so how many use guys have used Bootstrap before? Plenty of you, cool. So uh, how often have you guys uh, find yourself uh, in this uh, scenario? You go to the documentation and you try to find a component that you want to use in your web page. Uh, you copy the example, basically, it's a massive chunk of the code. Uh, you post it on your, uh, you paste it on your HTML template and you get a widget. And that kind of makes you want to cry. Okay, so what if instead of having to copy all this massive chunk of text to get a simple component, you were just able to use uh, the actual widget? So you can just define that in this section you're going to have uh, a navigation bar, you're going to have certain items uh, which are very easily to configure. Uh, that's what we call web components. Um, web components let you create uh, your own uh, HTML elements. Uh, it lets you encapsulate uh, all the styling for those elements. And it lets you react uh, those components with uh, lifecycle callbacks. Uh, web components are basically uh, composed of four technologies. Uh, the templates, which is basically the HTML uh, that we use uh, for those components. Uh, the shadow DOM, which actually lets you uh, encapsulate uh, all the styling for, for those components and the JavaScript part. Uh, the custom elements are the actual interfaces that the, user, the users use uh, to uh, use your components. And you also have imports, uh, which basically lets you uh, package your component into one file and then you can import it uh, in your main HTML document and start using the component right away. Uh, we can start using them today, although they're not uh, widely supported by all my major browsers. Uh, there's a really cool project by Google called Polymer, uh, which is basically a collection of polyfills. Uh, we let you uh, use uh, the web components in all major browsers, uh, modern browsers. Uh, that means the latest two versions of all browsers, and there's some love for IE10 as well. Uh, it's also a framework for building applications uh, with web components. Uh, so a really cool thing that you can do with one of the components is called Core Ajax. So you can uh, actually make uh, Ajax requests with components and bind the response of that Ajax request to an attribute and then you can reflow the other components uh, according to that data. It's pretty cool. Uh, it has a lot of other extras like web animations, template binding and MDB. Uh, this is one of the demos that I've did, that I've done. Uh, let's see if it works. Uh, basically what we're doing is we're defining a little template inside our uh, component. Uh, we're binding the, uh, uh, an attribute of the component to the background color of uh, an element. And then we bind the same attribute to the input. So when we change the attribute, it reflows the UI, which is pretty, pretty cool. Change. He doesn't want to go to the next slide. There we go. Uh, this is another demo. Uh, this uh, is an entire element. It's called Core Scroll Heater Panel. Uh, it, with very little markup, you can do really fancy animations which uh, work uh, works across devices and perform really well. Which is pretty cool. Uh, there's a lot more. Uh, Polymer also solves one of the most difficult uh, problems in computer science, which is how to center a damn div inside another one. <laughs> Um, what? Uh, and is this the simple? You just define. Uh, you define a horizontal layout, uh, and you tell that the content is going to be center and center justified, and pff, magic. It's just, just center in the middle. Magic. <laughs> Uh, there's lots of more resources. Uh, I do encourage you all to take a look at Polymer Elements and uh, uh, po the Polymer uh, Paper Elements as well, uh, which have a lot of information, a lot of other really cool components to use. Um, thanks, that's it.